Hey y'all, good morning, good morning, good morning loves. How are you guys doing today? How did y'all sleep? How did y'all wake up? How was y'all morning? Well, mine started off great and it's still going great y'all. I woke up and I was out and about. As you can see, I went and got my lashes done. I'm preparing for my little getaway, y'all. I told you guys I'm going away for eight days. So I'm preparing for that. And right now I'm at the garden center. I'm going to see what they have in there for my garden. Because if the weather holds up this weekend, I might be cleaning the backyard. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, other than that, there ain't much going on because the weather, look at the weather, y'all. It's bleaky as hell outside. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. It's raining. It's bleaky. So I need to go to the city, to the mall to pick up some fine, 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 fine stuff to take with me, like lotion, deodorant. Y'all know travel size stuff because I'm only taking hand luggage with me because where I'm going is hot as hell. So I'm going to be on the beach so it's bathing suit and skimpy stuff. And, um, yeah, so I got to run and pick up those things. But I don't feel like walking in the rain and getting sick, y'all. I'm trying to go on vacation, not be home coughing. But I'll keep y'all up with my day. Come along with me because y'all going into the garden center with me. And we're all going to look and see what we see to put in our garden. Because y'all going to be sitting in the backyard, too. So you guys, we are at the garden center and you guys who are into plants and stuff, you have so many different things here. It's ridiculous. This is my first time here, but I've heard they have so many better, different qualities. Well, the best qualities they have here, so. Let's go in and see how to get my basket. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. This is the beautiful garden center. I always like walking through the flower section first. It just amazes me the bouquets these people put together in the different colors. The thing about it is you get so many examples here of how to fix up a bouquet, what colors to go with, your living room scheme, stuff that match. And y'all know this is what I like because y'all know I would change the colors in my house in a heartbeat. So I just had to walk through here real fast and look how they blend in the purple. Is that purple? Purple, yellowish. Oh, I was looking at this, y'all. They sell one of them. One for 125 just one one for 125 but all in all i like the scheme i like the colors and all of that that's why i come to the garden center as soon as it opens because then it's fresh and nice and you get to see stuff and actually enjoy it me this is my peaceful place anyway let's move on to the outside so what i like about the outside now here is the garden part y'all and i for one i take um ideas from them the flower schemes and stuff y'all know what my backyard look like but in the winter it does not look like my backyard so now in the spring i gotta get it together but these flowers, y'all, it's so many to choose from. And then you have to figure out which ones are going to last a little longer than the others. So I just keep going through and browsing through. And I like the different colors mixed into each other. So that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking at. And what's going to blend, what's going to feed my soul, what's going to have me at ease, the flower pots. Y'all don't look at that because you walk in here, you got to take a look at everything. So we're looking, we're walking. 
I was thinking, oh, uh, that's the reason why I stopped here. I was thinking about changing my flower pots on the inside, but I don't know if I want to put them like in a keramic showy pot or if I just want to put something at the bottom. I haven't made up my mind yet, but we have months to Christmas, so that's also coming. But here, these are my favorite flowers that I put every year, but I was thinking about changing it up a little bit this year and doing something a little bit different like because every year i do those but this year i want to do a variety and then um my tulips are worn out also so i'm looking for some different balls that i can actually put in the ground oh these are beautiful we might do these look at that yeah y'all see the colors that's what get me going this is what put your friend at ease yes and they're only $2.99 a pot so if you get like 10 of them but nope we're not gonna do that we're just gonna mix it up anyway y'all let's go let's see what we find i made it back home i spend about two hours two and a half hours in the garden center i spent about almost 200 euros yes but i think i'm ready to clean up my garden let me show y'all and you know what what got my money up so much i bought two plants y'all let me show you guys it first i bought two plants and they were both $30 a piece. Let me show y'all, hold on. This one right here, hold on, hold on. This one right here. Mm -hmm. Ah, shoot. My curtains, y'all, it's raining outside. Y'all see that? It looks like the leaves are a little bit hairy. $30 for this plant right here. And this one right here, hold up, y'all, hold up, hold up. This little baby right here, but this one gets huge. This one right here is $30 also. So, yeah, look my plant giving flowers, y'all. This gives me satisfaction. I love plants. Y'all see how this one got big? Y'all know this one from when it was small. And now it's going all over the place. But when it starts getting lighter and it's not raining no more when i roll up the curtains you guys are gonna see my inside plants better and we still got that one over there yeah and then i got a bunch over there behind the curtains but i have to start on my garden so let me show you guys what i got for the garden all of this in this box right here is garden stuff. These plants, my uncle in Suriname asked me to get these for him. We got some carrots. I got him some um, beets right there. Some radish. He asked for broccoli. So I got him two different kinds of broccoli, organic and regular. Yeah. And I got him some white and orange carrots. So these are going to serve mine in a box. These are mine. I got okra and tomato, but of course y'all know I have those boxes right there with sweet peppers and different things. And then I also, hold on y'all, I gotta open the door so I gotta put the camera down, hold on. All right y'all, this is what the backyard is looking like right now. If you look, it's raining, my plants there die. All of these have to be filled up with flowers. I put flowers up top and of course we buy here. We're gonna have our vegetable. Look, yeah, my celery never died. 
the rosemary is still struggling. I need to wait and see if it's going to come up back. Look at that was time, y'all. It looked like it died. I bought two new ones. And then look, my tree is coming back up. So I have to fold this up. I have to go buy some, um, some more ground. I bought one pack, but I'm going to go buy two more packs because I have flowers here for, you know what? I have some in the back here. I just remember that. So when it stopped raining, now we're gonna come out here and clean up. We gotta clean all of this, get them pots out. I think I'm gonna buy two trees and put them in there, a lemon tree and whatever not the case may be. And I'm gonna buy a rose and put in there so it could start taking over up there. Anyway, I have beans, y'all, that's gonna go in the ground, my flowers that's gonna go in. And of course I have thyme, rosemary, lemon, all of these that are going in the box so this weekend hopefully those are my cushions that are covered up i always keep them look at my backyard y'all but i want y'all to see the before and when your girl finish the after birth and then i have some turtle pots in here to put in between my stuff so that we don't have um what you call them snails because last year I had a snail problem. Yeah, last year I had a snail problem, so I had to um, figure out how to get rid of the snails. I figured that out now, but we'll see if it works because it's a trick. It's a little ceramic pot that looks like a snail and you put the food in there and it catches them and they can't come out, so they're stuck in there, but we'll see if it works. Anyway, y'all, that was garden center for today. And I will come back and show y'all what a backyard looks like when I'm done with it. Enjoy the rest of y'all day because I am going and lay down. Look at this weather, y'all. Look at the weather. It's wet and nasty. I can't wait for next week so I could be out on the beach in the sun. Ooh, that's just very nasty out here. <laughs>